ladies and gentlemen, I have just returned to my apartment in Houston, and wow, it is hot. I just drove from Florida to here, and it was hot the whole way. And the severe weather continues to kick. So let me try to get you updated as I am getting me updated, if you will. Just five days after a tornado that was a mile wide, ripped across 240 miles and took a lot of lives, we have another very dangerous situation pushing up into Iowa and everything has been weird and then you got more weather coming in here and then more weather coming up there and things are strange. And yeah, this is a very dangerous situation. Um, you'll have to forgive me. I'm in a good mood, but don't let that reflect how dangerous and crazy the world is right now. If you are up in this area, I hope you are paying attention and doing your best to keep you, your family, and your pets safe because this freak giant windstorm dust bowl event with severe weather uh, outliers is strange. I need a thesaurus or something. Or as Ryan Stouffer Stuffing puts it, if I can use some technical climate terminology to describe recent events in 2021, this is getting weird. Jacob Fiedarstein, it's official December 15th, 2021, has broken the record for most 65 plus not severe wind reports in a day. With 45 such reports, today surpasses June 6th, 2020, which had 44. This is happening. In December, a climatological anomaly of extreme proportions. So yeah, it's been a weird December, man. Josh Morgerman, Cat 4 Typhoon Rai, is closing in on the Philippines. Dinget, Sergio, and Booker's Grand Islands, Yellow, are on the front line in terms of important population centers. Suriago City, with population 171, is going to get rocked. So prayers out to them. Jessica Dorsey is beginning to understand those old Dust Bowl stories more than I ever thought I would. This is Garden City, Kansas, earlier today. Whoa, this is Channing Frampton. Whoa, surveillance video shows a powerful storm passing over Hickman, Nebraska. A trampling and slide can be seen pushed over due to high wind. Whoa. Rick Mitchell says Minnesota just recorded its first December tornado since weather records have been kept. We got a large wildfire continuing to burn across parts of Ellis, Russell, Osborne, and Rooks counties in Kansas. Some homes in Natoma and Paradise reportedly are ablaze. This brought to us by Cameron Venable. Greg Thomas showing a family heading back from KC from Denver, right, to KC from Denver, Western Kansas on I-70. Yeah, so things are definitely wild, getting wilder. Here's the latest timing. Storms still pose a wind threat as they move from southeast Minnesota into western central Wisconsin. A tornado is also possible. So this will continue to push north and east and will be a dangerous situation for a lot of people. So please pay attention and take the proper precautions. But out in Los Angeles, brr, it's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas, I guess. Lots of current temperatures in the 40s and even 30s over the interior. Make sure to turn the heat on tonight, but luckily it won't be as cold as last night. Widespread lows in the 30s will be common during the overnight hours. Yes, please bring pets inside. And remember, we knew that December was gonna be a super wild, weird weather month for multiple reasons. One of them being the third Uranus Square Saturn event that will happen on Christmas Eve. And so if you'll notice, like we had the five days ago on the 10th, we had the very deadly tornado outbreak. And then five days now, uh, we have the giant storm today. And so if this trend continues five days from now, we'll probably have another major storm and then definitely we are on the lookout for another major storm on Christmas Eve or around Christmas. <sighs> and so definitely smoke them if you got them and enjoy life as much as you can. Because, you know, there are still good things in this world, including friends and family. Rob Welp Dope Weather showing us the storm outlook for the rest of the night. And so, yeah, you know, if you're in this cone, I would 
you know, definitely be staying aware. As of 6.54 p.m., there have been 249 severe wind reports as well as 13 tornado reports across the plains as the line of storms rolled through. Damaging winds remains likely and additional tornadoes possible this evening ahead of the line within the risk areas. So, yo, yeah, I mean, if you're in this cone, may God be with you. Rob, well, dope weather showing us a tornado watch to 11 p.m. for Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Missouri, and Illinois. Ryan Stouffer stuffing the weather information into our brains. This storm was intense enough to transport some stratospheric ozone to surface in the Denver area today. So yeah, man, it is wild. And as of an hour ago, they had received reports of quarter-sized hail and power outages in northeastern Iowa. And Max R is saying, hey, file this under things I've never seen before. A tornado warning for a storm moving at 100 miles per hour. Say what? And as of two hours ago, Jesse Perry Farrell, um, eight states had recorded gusts of over 90 miles per hour. California had 121 miles per hour. Lamar, Colorado, 107 miles per hour. New Mexico, Taos, 103, Russell, Kansas, 100, Nebraska, 93, Wyoming, 93, and Missouri, 90. And during the last week, I've seen tons of people arguing about weather. And let me tell you something. I've been saying this for a couple months now, that I'm not going to argue with anyone about anything for the rest of the year. Like, everybody's allowed to have their own opinions, and nobody's really listening anyways. So... It seems like wasted effort trying to like force someone to believe something that they don't believe. It doesn't matter what it is, man. And so stay safe, stay cool, and um, you know, just appreciate everything good in your life and do what you can to spread the love, the happiness, the hope, the joy. You know, we know that things are gonna be crazy up until the spring. But we are Asteroid Fight Club. We have trained for this for almost like eight years now to and we're 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 doing pretty great through all the universe is thrown at us, and so hang in there, buddy. And I'll do my best to keep you guys updated. Okie dokie. God bless everyone. Thank you, Asteroid Fight Club. I love and appreciate y'all. Let me get my ducks in a row, and I'll be back in a bit. God bless everyone. Let us do our best to have a you know to do the best we can with what we have, wherever we're at, under our circumstances, to close out. You know, Christmas and 2021 the best way possible. Even though it's going to be crazy. We know that. All right. You're cool. You can hit the button, baby. <laughs>